I've had uh, issues with my ears clogging up and, and ringing and being muffled for about three years prior to having the procedure. I tried many things. Um, I had a couple other procedures uh, done. Um, they helped a little bit, but nothing significant. Um, I tried over-the-counter medication, Claritin, uh, you know, all different types of things, and nothing really seemed to help that much. So a lot of times when I was having, you know, the equilibrium problems and the ear pressure problems, I'd, I'd blow my nose as hard as I could. You know, kind of like when you're up in a plane or I'd chew gum or, you know, yawn and try to equalize it. I mean, so it would help minimum amounts, but it would never get rid of the issue. So before the procedure, um, I guess it's kind of like anything else. You learn to deal with something, but some days it would be very aggravating and some days you would just, you know, be a norm where you just, okay, this is life, you know, this is what I had to deal with. So prior to the surgery, uh, rating my ears from, you know, one to 10, 10 being the worst. Uh, my left ear was probably almost constantly at a 10, uh, really bad. My right ear was probably about a, you know, seven or eight on a normal day. So after the procedure, you know, of course my wife took me home. Um, it kind of seemed just like a normal day. You know, I, I don't recall any, uh, you know, pain or drainage or anything, you know, upsetting. It was more or less just a normal day. Uh, without a doubt, after the surgery, I mean, there wasn't anything that I couldn't do. I mean, I, I didn't go out there and, you know, hit the gym or anything, you know, crazy like that. But as far as, you know, doing anything that I would normally do directly after the surgery, I was fine. I guess it would be over the course of the next day or two, I could definitely tell, hey, stuff's, stuff's moving around, the swelling's going down, and you know, it, it, I can tell that this procedure actually did something versus other things that I've had in the past. Significant symptom relief was probably week two. It's really made life more enjoyable, um, and as far as recreational stuff, I'm, I'm, I'm able to do stuff that you know beforehand I might have been prevented to do. Prior to having the procedure, um, I never knew what flying would do. Sometimes it would affect me very negatively. And then ironically, sometimes, uh, depending on the altitude or the pr cabin pressure or whatnot, my ears would equalize for, it could be anywhere from three minutes to five minutes and then pff, go right back to it. So I, I never knew what to expect. So I've flown twice since having the procedure done and I'm getting ready to fly next week. No issues at all. So. The procedure itself, I would not say it was painful. The overall pain, I would rate it at very low. Um, I would definitely recommend it to others that have tried, and they've probably tried as many things as I tried unsuccessfully, and um, I think they'd be really pleased with this procedure. So if I had to describe it to somebody, um, and they were familiar with rhinoplastic surgery. Uh, I would say it was very similar to that, no more intrusive. You know, so you lay back, they kind of numb your nose up with some numbing drops and stuff like that. The procedure really didn't take long at all. And like I said, there's, there's in my opinion, there's no real pain involved. Uh, knowing the end result, I would definitely recommend it uh, to others.